If you have ever tried reading a user manual, you know how hard it is to sometimes follow them. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to visually see the steps needed to be performed? This video is an example of how you can use SOLIDWORKS Composer to create a video quick start guide. In this guide, the steps on how to start and operate a snowblower will be shown. Make sure to keep clear of the rotor blades when the machine is on. Also be aware that the engine gets very hot while running and will remain hot for some time after. The first step to running the snowblower is to check the oil and gas levels. This is very important to do, especially if the machine is new. Once this is complete, the choke can be slid all the way to the right and the key can be turned to the on position. The primer button can then be pressed two times. At this point, if you are using the electric start, an extension cord can be plugged into the snowblower. The electric start button can then be pressed for no more than 30 seconds until the engine turns over. If not using the electric start, the recoil start handle can be pulled until the engine starts. The handle on the left can be depressed to engage the rotor blades. Make sure to avoid objects such as rocks so they do not damage the rotor blades and do not get thrown out of the machine. This handle can be slid to the right or left and will rotate the snow chute. The lever to the right of this controls the angle of the snow deflector. This will change the angle at which the snow is thrown out of the machine. The handle on the right side can be depressed to engage the wheels of the snowblower. The lever to the left of that adjusts the speed and direction that the wheels turn. To shut the snowblower off, move the choke all the way to the left and turn the key to the off position. 